All right, guys, this podcast is brought to you by Enchanted Beauty Spa Party Bus. An experiential spa party bus that includes manicure, which they look so cute because they get their little nails painted, a pedicure with real spa bowls, like how we use ladies at the nail place, at the nail salon. They also get little glitter makeup. They get to dress up. They get pampered galore. I mean, we're talking about they get their feet massaged, their hair done, their little hands massaged, and then they get to play dress up as well because they provide free little hair clips. They provide little tutus for them to play and dance. And then after all the fun is over, they get a little karaoke party. And so they're singing and dancing to any music that they want to listen to. You're able to book this bus for two hours. So I mean, two hours of nothing but fun for your little ones to enjoy. And they come to you. You don't go to them. They come to your house. You book them at your own convenience. And it doesn't have to be a birthday either. You can just have a spa day for your little ones and her friends. So be sure you go and check out Enchanted Beauty Spa Party Buzz. Let them know that we sent you. Use promo code HER10 to get a discount on your booking today. This episode is brought to you by Major Beauty. Your girl is about to hook you up because y'all know how I do my lashes all the time. And Major Beauty is going to offer $20 off your initial full set of lashes. And the first six months, you can also use this promo code HER20 and you can get $20 off your membership because she does offer membership services. So she not only does eyelashes, she also does permanent makeup, those new henna eyebrows. If you're not ready to go full force on the tattooing of the eyebrows, you can try them out by getting this henna stuff done. I haven't tried it because y'all know I got microbladed eyebrows, but I do use Kiana for my lashes. She is my new lash tech. Um, I'm loving her. She's great. And she's super duper professional. And you're going to love her little uh, studio. So check her out, The Major Beauty. Make sure you use promo code HER20 to get a discount off your full set and your membership for the next six months, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Her Lounge podcast. I am excited to be with you guys again. A lot of stuff happening, a lot of good things happening. Um, just a quick reminder that we've got new apparel on uh, Her Apparel. We have new accessories. Um, if you're watching this, this is our new shirt, the badass chick one. It came back I for like the it. summer on pink because y'all know I do the pink. And um, a lot of cool stuff happening. The Get Right With God, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and give those to my patronas for next month. Nice. So if you're a patrona, you're about to get that shirt for free instead of a box that month. So I'm excited for that. Um, and um, don't forget, I am now officially in the hive. So when you get this message or hit this message, get this episode, um, don't forget, you can now shop her apparel at the hive in the Rice Village. Um 15 different vendors in that store guys you can shop all of us and now you can even pick up at the hive so if you order something online in your local don't forget you can pick up there as well so go check me out guys at the hive come support come be help me grow help me help grow me to grow meat no meat. that should be your that should be your tagline right. help meet and grow <laughs> right we should be growing right now where can they get the address of that to the hive. To the oh, I'm sorry. Let me give that to y'all. But is it in your bio or is it at the? It, I haven't put it in my bio. Um, just go to the hive. But the only I should put it on there. I just don't want to start confusing people. If that makes sense. But I guess I should just. I guess just giving them their at right for the hive. Is it at the hive or? Yes, at the hive pop up is what go. it is. That's mm -hmm. where the address is. Um, and the address is actually. I'm gonna give that to y'all. It's actually. Um. On that note, uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. And join the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Her Lounge Podcast for premium episodes every week. And the Discord and the community and so much more. 21, 2431 Rice Boulevard, guys. So go check it out. It is in the Rice Village. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff. It's across the street from Travis Scott's store also. So, you know. If you're there, come shop, come check us out. Uh, really would appreciate it for you guys to spread the word. So thank you. 
Um, and then before we get started, you guys know I like to start with a positive quote, but I've really been digging affirmations lately, Rob. Okay. Um, I've been having a bunch of them, and I think it's just because with everything going on, I just have been needing this affirmation situation. We had a podcast before the podcast, guys. Literally. I li- my counselor, Rob Garzo, <laughs> <laughs> my therapist. I had a dollar Rob- for every time I've heard that. My, th- my therapist, Rob Garza <laughs> here, just had a whole ear full before we started this podcast. So, um, you know. It's just another day in the life. A lot of things coming at you. A lot. Yeah. Um, so these are six self-confidence affirmations. And I think sometimes um, I'm guilty of it. While I feel like I'm usually very confident, I can see something happening and it may, it's better than maybe what I'm doing or it's better than what, you know, what I would have thought or whatever. And you're just like, oh, it's not that bad. You know, I'm actually doing a good job. I don't know if you've ever had one of those moments, but lately I've been having a lot of those moments. So um, here are your six affirmation guys that I think we should all kind of really think about them. And I think I, we can expand on a lot of these, Rob. All right. uh, I am committed to my path with or without others. Mm. All right. Hear that out. Love it. I have the tools within me to get through this. We just had a whole conversation we about did. this. Okay. I am moving forward in this situation. It is my divine right to accept and believe in myself. I am unique, valuable, and worthy. And the last one is I own my power and I take up the space that I deserve. I like it. I feel like this is all just going to be deconstructing those uh, affirmations. Right. Because I just feel like that. Like I feel like a lot of what's been going on, good things, none of it, none of it bad. Um, More of like making decisions, more of like deciding what to do, more of being scared, uh, trying to be a prepper (laughs) while also being you know, surviving in this economy type of thing, you know? So it's like a lot of things coming all at once. Um, You know, so I just kind of feel like, uh, you know, even with, with little things, I, 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 um, the, the hive has this, like, um, I guess this group text or whatever. And so I was on there and it was really cool because everybody on there, when they said, Hey guys, welcome our new partner. So they call each other partners in, in, in at the pop-up and it said, welcome our new partner with her apparel, blah, 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 blah. And so it was really cool. Cause everybody was like, welcome, you know, we're so excited that you're helping us, all of us grow and think, you know, everybody was like, we're so excited. We're excited. And it was like, man, this is really cool to see other women who are also entrepreneurs, right? Um, greeting you, excited for you to be a part. Most of them have been there since they opened. So they're, they're like, you know, OGs of the pop-ups, you know? So it was kind of cool to see everybody there. Um, everybody being very supportive. Um, there's, I guess this whole thing going on right now where you can vote. I put it in the discord. Um, for the best shopping experience. And so they want, they're like, Hey guys, please go on there and share so that people can vote for the store. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that we can, you know, more exposure means what, you know, that means traffic. Exactly. Which means they get to see more of your stuff or everybody's stuff. So it was like, Oh man, that's what's up. So I sent it to all my family. I sent it to everybody. I'm like, everybody needs to vote y'all. We need this. We need the hive to go get visited so that my stuff can sell in there. So just saying. So So, the first was your first day, right? Or when, when was your first day in there? Actually last week was, um, I just wasn't pushing it, but technically I started the first, but my stuff was in there the last week of April. Okay. Um, were you there there on the first? I was not there on the first because you have to sign up for hours. So you have to sign up to be able to work a shift. So in advance, you got to let them know. You have to there. let them know. Yeah. yeah. No, you have a whole sign up thing, which, um, when we're done, I need for you to show me how to use Google drive. Cause okay. I was going to text Don the other day and I was like, this is really embarrassing that I'm going to text her. How do I find <laughs> someone on this Google drive? Cause okay. I don't know how. So that just shows you how old school I am, guys. She's still pen and paper. I'm still pen and paper. So, um, put a stamp on it, put it in the mail. I'm still on Kinko's. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been listening for a while, you, you know what that you is. You know what that means. Shout out to Asinette. Uh, she was the one that said, man, well, I sometimes wonder what year you live in. Yeah. The I shirt agree. says it all, actually. Just yeah. the vibe of the shirt. There you go. That's the year I live in, Asinette. So, you know. Mm. Are those shirts available on the website right now? No, um, they will be posted. Nice. It's already pictures have been taken. So I just need to like go ahead and, and post it on there. And um, I would like to start doing things where when I drop a shirt, I actually want to give a whole reason why the shirt. For me at this time that this shirt was designed, I was still doing bodybuilding, which is the reason why she looks the way she does. 
Hot. So, <laughs> you know, the and then she's holding a gun, you know, and then the fast car and, you know, the blonde hair is very 80, 80-ish. So it's kind of like I feel like, yes, you know what I'm saying? So when this design was presented to me, I was like, I need, I, it. I need it. I love it. Like, this is the perfect. It was me 100%. So, um, so badass chick is definitely how I'm feeling in these last few days. So just kind of feeling like, wow, we just, you just needed to concentrate a little bit and you know, things could have started a long time ago, but it's kind of hard when you, you know, it's funny you say that you got to concentrate and it would have happened a long time ago. What do you think it is about the ability to get so distracted? So, so quickly, is it that we have too many things going on at one time and then things start falling through the crack or, or what is it exactly? Is it on our personality? Cause I think you and I are pretty similar in that sense where you really, once, once you get set on figuring something out, you're going to figure it out, mm -hmm. but then you forget there's four other things on the burner mm -hmm. that you've leave, you've kind of left unattended to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think for me is feeling overwhelmed and how to, I guess, divide up my time to where I'm going to say, I'm not going to work on anything else today, but this. Because I feel like I need to work on X, Y, and Z all in one day versus no, my day today is just for, I'm just going to use my apparel, for example. So today is only apparel day. All day today, what I need to do is just be on my stories. I need to be posting. I need to be finding whatever I'm going to drop next, working on the photo shoots. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it needs to be a day that I have it for office hours. I designate that as like, that's not a problem. Dude, right? but how many, how often do, do office hours kind of get like pissed away? A lot. I know. I sometimes just need to like be by myself. So like sometimes I'll tell people, I'm like, hey, I'm going to go. That's why I'll go when y'all are podcasting. Yeah. No distractions. No distractions. Yeah. Like I don't, and it's, it's no offense to him, but he'll ask me questions and they're legit questions, questions that need to be like, he needs answers mm -hmm. to in order to do whatever maybe he needs to do. But I'm distracted because I'm focused on one thing. And it's like, like, for example, I needed to turn in an inventory sheet to the hive, mm -hmm. right? Cause they need to make barcodes. Okay. So I was like, all right. So I was like, I need to get started, but I also needed to handle something else tour related. Right. So it was like, I went halfway so what i did was i manually did one i printed out a sheet and i manually did one luckily i did so that whenever i went to the computer it was like okay let me go ahead and fix what i need to fix tour related wise and then i'm gonna go back and just enter this in because i have a reference here and it's gonna be quick now you know mm -hmm. so um i just think it's a matter of sitting down and really being disciplined about your time yes now Personally. I'm going to, I'm going to find something that I screenshotted yesterday. I don't know exactly how accurate it is, but I always talk about how getting up early is like, you gotta, I know so many people and friends who are, they're go-getters, but there's something about getting up early where they're just like, I'm not going to get up early. I'm not going to do this and that this early. And I'm like, okay, I'm not telling you to do it, but it will probably change a lot mm -hmm. of things in your life. If you just get up an hour or two earlier. Mm -hmm. So a screenshot of this, I don't know how accurate, how accurate it is, but, uh, do you know how much more time in a, how much more time in a year you would give yourself if you woke up two hours earlier? Okay, so I have to wake up at seven no matter what. Okay. So, because my child wakes up at seven. So that's usually the time I used to wake up. Probably mm. it's been about six or seven. Well, yeah, I'm over six months now. It would be about six thirty seven o'clock. But now I get up five five thirty. Do you know how much? That's two hours earlier than usual. You know how much time you would give yourself in a year if you, if you woke up two hours earlier? Guess. Mm. Mm. Just take a wild guess. How many more hours in the year? Just how much uh, more time in general? Yeah. Oh, maybe 50 hours more? I don't know. You would give yourself an entire month. Oh, wow. Just waking up two hours earlier. So now your 12-month year turns into 13 months. We always talk about how we don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. Imagine having 13 months in your year. And picture that, just waking up two hours earlier than you already do. Man, I'm already so sleepy because I have to get up in the middle of the night to feed my child. Well, your schedule right the, now might need to change If that's the case, bit. I mean, when she gets up for that feed at 4 a.m., I might as well stay up. You might as well stay you up. You know what I'm saying? That's the case because she wakes up at 4 for her feed. Mm -hmm. And then I go to bed and I sleep another three hours because she's about to get up. She gets up about 6.50, 7 a.m. And at 6.50 when she wakes up, she's not really wanting you to get her. She's just kicking in her little crib and yeah. she's just kind of talking so 
Um, when, but let me tell you something, something that I, I, I've been, I've noticed here lately is, um, what I've been doing is what, cause I have to get up so early with her. Mm-hmm. Right. What I'll do is I will start my planoli. And so I'll let her, I'll put her on the floor and I'll let her play for a little bit. Right. And then on top of that, I'll just get on there and then I'll just start planning my stuff versus, me doing it at night and that keeps me up at night trying to make decisions here. She's playing on the floor. I'm posting whatever I'm going to put for the week. And then I'm kind of caught up and that's one thing less that I have to do. Or if there's emails that I needed to kind of reply to that are my to do list for the day, I'll get it done there. So it has to be phone related to, for me to get the work done. But at the same time, I don't like to be on my phone mm. until Luisa gets here. That's when I feel my work time begins Mm -hmm. because I don't, I feel like I don't get enough time with my kids. Right. I feel like when I wake up with them, I want to wake up with them with no phone. When Luisa gets here, it's time to work. So go get everything, go get ready, go do everything you need to do. And then I try to not use my phone after Luisa leaves. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it totally makes sense. And it was so funny because my soul texted me, I think on Saturday, and she was like, hey, don't feel like you have to reply, yeah. but X, Y, Z. And I'm like, no, it's fine. We had taken the kids. We, we did a like a guy boys day girls day mm. so they did their own thing i mean wasn't did their own thing by the time you texted me it was probably like eight or nine and mm. i was like no they're showered they're already like just chilling vibing out in mm. their rooms what it was, i was actually already working on something uh related so it's never an issue it's just you do want to try to at least when the kids are around yeah. like mm-hmm. get, give them that time like let them know that it's time for them well let me tell you why too penny made the comment the other day when she was in the bath also when she's in the bath, I'll also do office work on my phone while she's sitting there playing. Mm-hmm. I'll bathe her first. When she, as soon as she gets in, I'm like, all right, let me wash your hair. Let me wash your body. And then I sit there and watch her, right? Because I'm not going to leave her by herself. And I'll sit there on her little stool. And I'll sit there and I'll be like, all right. She's just playing in there. And- she's just playing and I'm just on my phone. But sometimes she wants to play. For like an hour. Yeah. She wants to play sometimes. And then I'm just like, oh my God, I, need, I want to get this done. I need to finish. You know what I'm saying? This is my time that I need to do it. And then when I realized that I needed to stop doing that was when she said, remember I told you And I was like, no, when did you say that? She goes, when you were in the restroom, but you were on the phone. (laughs) So that's when she's she's talking about when she was in the bath, I was on my phone, you know? And that's when I said, she is old enough to notice now that her mom's on the phone and that's what I don't want. Yeah. I don't want her to say my mom's on her phone and you know, I'm sitting here with her. So, um, when she wants me to watch her play something, cause that's her, she likes for me to sit there sometimes and watch YouTube channels with her like videos. And I'm just like, this is so dumb. Or like watch her play a video game. I'll say, is there something else that we can do so that it's not a tablet situation? You know what I'm saying? I said, is there something else that's fun that we can do? And then she'll want to pretend play because that's her thing is pretend she wants, she likes to act out the YouTube videos that she watched. So if they're playing a prank, she wants to do the prank. Oh, yeah. Brooklyn's the exact same way. So that's what she wants to do. And I'm just like, this is, we're not going to do that. Dude, you know what we, (laughs) dude, we were all sitting on the couch. It's about two or three weeks ago now. And uh, we were just kind of having like a, just a chill weekend. And Brooklyn comes out of, out of, uh, she watches YouTube in our room because no one else likes watching it. But her Weston's like, yeah, so, so. But Mm -hmm. usually he wants to like play Xbox or watch a baseball game or something. And she was like, all right, guys, uh, can we do an activity? And we're like, me and Don are like, okay, what do you want to do? Activity? She's like, let's play. she loves hide and seek. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I really don't care to play hide and seek. So does Penny. I know. And the house especially, too. Like, our house isn't big. And it's, I mean, it's just like, there's only so many places to hide. So I was like, we're like, okay, um, okay, let's play. Who's going to count? I was like, wait, wait, wait. But first, you guys get your phones out, and we're going to get our tablets out, and we're going to record our point of view of what we see while we're trying to hide and run around. Did she watch the same kids Penny watches? They Must. do that. Oh, Tanner, Tanner Rice? Some family. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they're family. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Dude. I don't, know how, I don't know how she got on this damn channel, but she loves watching this family. So all in all, long story short, it ended up being pretty fun. Like we, oh, we did, okay. like we, we recorded ourselves hiding and then counting. And then the kids had their Amazon tablets that they always use. And they were recording it with their shitty ass cameras on there. But it was fun, man. It was really, really funny. And uh, at the very, she was the last one to hide. And we literally couldn't find her. And then finally, Don was like, all right, I give up. And she was in one of the closets that we said was off limits. And she was like, I didn't hear you say it was off limits. So she was hiding. So it was just so, she loved it. It was fun. But 
that you can only do so many times, you know, we're, we're older and we want to like give them what they want, but it's like, how many times I playing? Guy- Mickey got me at a good age. Um, I was early thirties and what Less I mean by that, yeah. And also I didn't have as many responsibilities, but she was an only child. And I think I always, I always felt guilty for that. She was an only child and, yeah. and my friends don't live. A lot of my, my friends are out of, live out of the country cause their husband's job. So and the friends that I do have here that have kids, they live all the way in woodlands, in the woodlands. And Oof. that's really far. And two, their kids are younger than Mickey. So I didn't know how to entertain her. So a lot of the times it was me playing with her. It was me doing crafts with her. I was going to Mad Potter or things like that, right? With Penny, though, I feel like she's into the tablet. To where I feel like that's where I have to sit with her and have time with her. That's her thing. That's what she finds fun to play with. Mm -hmm. And then she'll say, can we act this out? And I'll be like, all right. And she directs me too. She's like, no, you need to say it like this. So she'll sometimes (laughs) say when she wants to play robot. Because they play pause and they, these kids on the movie, on the damn YouTube channel, it's like pause and they'll pause. And so she'll want to pause me. And so here I am paused in the middle of something. And I'm just like, okay, are you, can you unpause me now? I'm tired of being here, you know? (laughs) Yeah. It's one of those things. I think that's what it has a lot to do with. It's just, uh, make managing your time. And I think managing your time is really hard. Um, and sometimes you can catch yourself getting to a funk. I don't know about you where you're Mm -hmm. just like, fuck man, like. If only I could just, you know, it's just, I, I feel like that sometimes. Showers for me are my best friend. Like, I think it's because it's my only alone time, right? So for me, a lot of the time in the showers, I come up with ideas. I come up with thoughts and figuring out solutions to whatever problem it is. Or, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's the only time I have by myself. Mm-hmm. Like, legit by myself. So... I find that that's where I find most of my solutions is in the shower. Um, I love taking showers, but it's just another fucking thing I got to do today. I'm yeah, like, God, let me exactly. just get in and out. Like, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not spending a lot of time in there. Exactly. Um, and then I, I do feel like when I when I was telling you earlier, I was like, I always feel like what I'm doing is not good enough or, you know what I'm saying? Or like, I'm not doing a good enough job or something. It's, it's crazy because um, I don't know who told me. Um, I don't know who it doesn't matter I guess whoever DM'd me if you're listening thank you they just said hey so I've been following you since you were a Zumba instructor and it's really cool to watch your grow and he's she, she just said I really I really feel like I've I've watched you become this whole different person you went from being a single person um, you know who was into fitness to really embracing motherhood and being a wife and really like you're an entrepreneur. She's like, you were an entrepreneur before, but you were like an entrepreneur, a single entrepreneur person and watching you be a mom and doing it is way more impressive to me. And I was like, okay, I don't know if that's a compliment or <laughs> cause it's like, it's more impressive because you're a mom. Like, is that a backhanded compliment? I was like, I dang, I was like, I thought it was, it wasn't impressive when I was like, no children, but I guess because. I guess because it's hard being a mom, you know, I guess maybe that's why. I don't know. Because she feel, she was like saying, and her whole thing was like, no, it was like a two-part thing. It was mm-hmm. like the longest. I wasn't going to read it. I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, you should have sent an email. My G. <laughs> like, you have a better chance of me reading it. Listen, no offense to the person who sent it. If you're, if you're a podcast, if you listen, because I don't know if she listens, but in case she does, I don't want her to think. I want to thank you, first of all, because it was the sweetest thing. I You actually sent it at the right time. Um, because I was just feeling overwhelmed, you yeah. know, so I, I thank her for sending the message. Right. But it was just kind of like one of those things was like, yeah, you know, you you have really evolved. Like you went from being this single person who, you know, was a Zoom instructor. I I it made me go down my Instagram page and a lot of my Instagram stuff was just me in the fitness world, mm-hmm. me competing, me posting my food, me posting my workouts, me at cycling, um, because that was what my life consisted of. And it's really weird. If if you've watched yourself evolve, guys, maybe Instagram, this is why I say that Instagram for, is for me, is because I'm able to go back and look at things, right? 
And obviously I do it for you guys, but you know, a lot of it is how that this is my photo album. This is how I go back and I look at memories. And I'm like, oh my God, that was back then. But it's crazy because it goes from me trying to figure out Instagram, understanding hashtags. Mm-hmm. It, I went that far back because she made me, she made me go that far back yeah. when she started bringing up things from my past. And, and I mean like, meaning like not in my past, like as, as in bad things. I mean like how I started in, on social media. Yeah. Mighty Swole Lives, right? I was like, damn, I saw how there was no hashtags. I had like six likes. Um, so I was like, and there's no the cat it was like i was still understanding social media to promote my classes mm-hmm. and then i went from that to promoting my classes and posting videos and then it was like i was tagging them the videos don't even fit the the actual square you yeah. know what i'm saying i still didn't know how to use it and then you can tell as i grew then i was posting quotes and then i was it was like really weird then i and then it's funny because i looked at some dates and i was already dating Pete, but there was no pictures of Pete and I. And then I see the first picture I've ever posted of Pete and I together. And I was like, what? I was like, look at this. You know what's crazy about us? You know, you and I are are about a a little under 10 years apart, but we built these platforms. Mm -hmm. Our our generations, mm-hmm. our age groups, our whatever, our, our neuroses, neurotic, crazy fucking uh, <laughs> almost vein filled ages. Like we made Instagram and Facebook. And one totally. of the frustrating parts about all this is that, you know, doing with what Chingo and I do it is like so much of it being suppressed and not being like uh, the whole landscape of I feel like life in America has shifted a lot in the last 10 years. But totally. when you talk about social media. And what kids now who are going into high school are experiencing versus what I was experiencing in high school and social media is completely different. And, and I agree because Mickey had a friend uh, spend the night this weekend and um, she said to me, she's in, she's a year older than Mickey, but they met at the private school where she goes to. And um, she's into pub, she's in public school now. Mickey's transitioning into public school as well for high school. And so uh, we were going to Luisa's unteenth party of the week. I can't believe it was, they had another party. No, we went to three this week, bro. I'm gonna say this in the I'm gonna say this in the nicest way. There's no way in hell. Pete didn't go to the Friday night one, but then he felt bad because he didn't go because he was bored because he, he I left him here with Sunny and Sunny was asleep, so there was nothing for him to do. Yeah. He's like, I already. It was so cute. He was like, I already played my guitar. He's like, I he already did all his toys. Probably he did all the things that he'd like to do if yeah. we weren't here but he had run out of things to do <laughs> he's like so he's like i feel bad that i didn't go i'm like why he's like i don't know because now i don't have nothing to do <laughs> but anyway we en- we went and we went to go have we went to the party and um on the way there i, was <laughs> I don't him, know why that's so funny it is it was funny when he told i could me, just like, see him there sitting on the couch like, kind of like pacing bored. back and forth yeah, like, like what, are, what do i do now like you know, yeah exactly because it's like i mean he's like i deleted instagram off my phone like, exactly <laughs> and then he didn't know that the work phone was i left uh, it you know what i'm saying yeah. i left it on my nightstand and i just i turn it off yeah right and so i guess he didn't know because that's the only place that it has in the the yeah. instagram so you know I could just picture him sitting there like, oh, my God, what do I do now? You know, I've exa- I've done everything I'd like to do <laughs> if they weren't here. And now they're not back yet. Right. But anyway, on the way there, I was I asked her friend and, and he, I, I had this conversation with Pete yesterday. And maybe some of the listeners can relate. And some of them, maybe not. I don't know. But for, I don't know for you, but my high school years were not miserable. They were actually a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun memories that I can tell you about. Oh, I best. can tell you about how I skipped school, you know what I'm saying? How I went to school dances. I was on homecoming court. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of shit that I can tell you about the drill team, you know, all these things that I felt were really cool experiences Mm -hmm. for me. You know, um, I told him, I was telling Pete that I'm sad that Penny is not going to elementary school. I, I just really couldn't wait to, start like when i went to elementary school mm-hmm. it was like the like i i loved it you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i loved going to school and i think it was because i really enjoyed i'm a, I, i'm somebody who likes to learn so maybe that's the reason why i never i never hated school i don't know about you i don't think i started hating school until i was in college oh no i hated it pretty early on oh like, yeah see i never did grade, no grade. i never did it was never it was never hard for me it was never like it was just like okay so something i have to do so I didn't mind it at all. So, mm. also, I wasn't very involved in school. So, I was always student council. 
you know, nerd alert type of thing. So, you know. I should have done more of those things. I didn't. Yeah, I did. So for me, I felt, I feel kind of sad that Penny's not going to know what it's like to go to her first day of school. Her first day of school is going to be at home. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you're starting school like everybody else, but you're going to start it at your house. Yeah, you don't know what you're missing, though. She doesn't know what she's missing. She doesn't, but I guess I do. And Pete's like, we grew up in different times. I said, absolutely. Because here's what I'm, what I'm trying to get at. Is I was having a conversation with Mickey's friend. I said, how do you like high school? And she said, meh. I was like, what does that mean? She goes, I don't know. Everybody always hyped it up to be like this cool thing. And it's not that big of a deal. It's like dumb. And I said, it's dumb. Wow. Like... I remember I couldn't wait to go to school. Yeah, you know what made me want to go to high school was watching Days and Confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Because I lived in that I lived in yeah. that environment, and sure enough, when high school came around, that that is a lot. What that and uh, Varsity Blues mm. was literally Varsity Blues was to well, you're in the country the though. Tea, Varsity to the Blues, I my can high see school. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was okay. my high school. I, every person, every every cast member in that movie, I I can picture who they were mm. in high school. And that's what I mean. I think th- things are changing so much to the point to where um, I think a lot of the thi- a lot of the skills, and and it's and, and it's going back to all these affirmation guys, which I think are important for us to teach our kids early on. I teach Penny. I tell Penny every night, and she laughs. You know, she can repeat everything I'm going to tell her already. Like she gets on my damn nerves. And I'm like, you're awesome. And I go through why she, all the reasons why she's awesome. She goes, I know, because I'm smart. I'm a funny cat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and she's just like, I'm like, can I tell you? You know? And so she knows them all. And she's three. And I know she doesn't get like why these are being said, but I, I hope that she knows. But when she does something silly and, and Pete or Luisa or somebody will say, hi, esta niña. She's like, I'm funny. You know, <laughs> so I, it makes me feel like she does listen like it, it's it is doing something for her, you know. Mm-hmm. But my point is um, teaching those things to your kids early on, teaching them also like there's going to be times where things are going to be complicated. There's going to be the times where you're not always going to be a winner. You're not always going to like get what you want. You're going to have to work twice. You're going to hear a lot of no's along the way. And that's OK. I think if you can teach that to your kids early on, I think a lot of these kids can adjust to things a lot better because I think that's the problem right now Mm. is that because we have social media, you don't really have to adjust to to society because you're on your phone. So you're adjusting to whatever cool thing is happening on the phone. Does that make sense? I love this topic because I've been thinking a lot about it lately. Uh, Should we tell everybody that this is a one hour two parter? Yeah. The public episode's 30 minutes and the patron episode will be 30 minutes because mm-hmm. Money Soul is going out of town. You guys got shows in Corpus this week. You guys are still packing for the show. Yep. You got merch to get ready. So if you want the rest of this episode, you got to tune in on Friday. All right, guys. So sign up for the Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash Her Lounge Podcast. I didn't say WW, guys. So see. That's good. You're, it's, it's improvement. <laughs> That's an improvement. 